Okay, another addition. My brother picked this up, what was it $70 in feed he bought for an old friend of ours. So he just bought this so he can talk about it. It's his tractor. What is it? International 300 Utility, 1956. Got a four cylinder gas job. I'm guessing about in between 35 and 40 horse. Yeah, that's what we're thinking right around there. We got it running pretty good. We zipped it around the yard. When we first got it, the um, ball was inside this slide transmission right here. Couldn't move it back and forth or anything because it was all rusted up, had a bunch of water in it, so we drained that out. And he figured out how expensive oil is. Was it $170 on oil or something yeah. like that? $160. Put a new battery in it, uh, new switch, key start. Really haven't put anything else. Uh, plugs and wires, but the, the old ones are still on it, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, because the new wires, we had no spark with them. Yeah, the new plugs and well, we kept the new plugs in there. Yeah, new plugs. The new um, spark plug wires, though, for some reason, got them auto store downtown. They supply everything for us. And, um, had no spark. Don't know why. But we'll probably switch it back on and see what's going on. Parking brake. The timing was way off. Parking brake actually works on this, yeah. which would be really nice. Keep it running in neutral. It does have three point hitch. This is one heavy tractor, I'll tell you that. This thing's got like, what is it? It's got like an eight foot wheelbase. And like going down the road, it like fits in the lane. That's just about it. The um, three point hitch has um, one inch steel on it. Yeah, one inch steel bar on the three point hitch. Category one and two got like those reversible balls down the end. Put the tires on this thing. It's kind of having trouble with the one of the rims is rusted through, but they're not factory rims. And because it's only put like twenty twenty sixes are on it now, and this yeah. factory is twenty four. See, it's all rusted through. And my inside the welded welded in when the yeah the centerpiece they're welded in. It only came stock with um, Bolton centers. So. Whatever, we'll figure it out. But it has a fabricator, so we can figure things out. Picked up this bottom toolbox from my cousin. It's just a homeowner thing from the 80s. Bottom box, cheap thing. Picked up, was it $65? No, $70, and it was actually 65 what I was supposed to pay. But I gave him 70 because he didn't have change, and he gave me a quart of rust oleum primer for change. So I made out good on that deal. I don't have to go buy any more rust -Oleum. Probably cheap for that way. I don't know how much a can of rust -Oleum primer is. Did you use that? Mm, probably, probably like 15. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's 15, but whatever. My dad got this for my brother free from work. It's actually nice having a little table there. And it's, it's cold out today, I tell you that. Nice having. We have an oil feeder that my dad picked up free when he was doing some. And displaying his array of gear wrenches. Any of you ever run gear wrenches before? Well, if you haven't, buy some. They're the absolute best thing ever to have. Expensive. Buy more sales. Yeah. We get, there's a ton of sales. Craftsman always has a sale. And that's where we get them through Craftsman. But they're the absolute best wrenches out there. The only problem is that it's like, when they're not on sale, it's like $89.99 for just a single set of quarter inch or five sixteenths or something through three quarter and it does get pricey but we picked ours up for 50% off around Christmas time. Grandparents snowblower, I gotta fix that. But that's about all that's happening in the shop. Hey, it is cold on my hands are freezing right now. And we got some snow. That's that's what we'll be pushing up from this little section right here of the driveway. That's where all the snow from the last two weeks. Haven't been in school. The last week I went to school, one and a half days. Then the week before that, I went to school three days. Have to see another one for the Yeah, today's Monday. We had a day off with some stupid teacher curriculum thing. I prefer to go back and just get my finals done because I'm not going to remember it after another day off. And but whatever, it's their choice. Go back tomorrow. Hopefully, get finals done. Another foot of snow coming Wednesday. I don't know how it can snow when it's this cold out, but. Just getting a lot of snow. I'll show you my warrior in a minute. Running out of time on this video.